welcome to DHS informatics in this video we are going to watch the project monitoring the movement of wild animal and the alert system using a deep learning algorithm why this project is very important means farmlands are uh, near the forest area or near the mountain when we are having the farmland or house near the forest area or the mountains there may be a lot of chance wild animal will enter into our place and cause the damages to avoid the thing we want to give a need a alert system whenever the wild animal is uh, approaching our farm or our house means we need the one alert system so that we have to recognize that whether it is a wild animal or it is a normal a normal may be men or it may be dog cat means it is not a problem but uh, domestic animal is not a problem or human is not a problem but uh, any animal wild animal is coming it has to give the alert uh, and what type of animal also it has to send a alert that is the uh, main uh, purpose of uh, this project so that in this uh, project what are the animals uh, we are going to consider means we are going to take uh, one five classes of animal we are going to take i will show that uh, images of that animals okay what are the animals we are going to identify means we are going to identify tigers these are images of the tiger these are the images downloaded from the proper uh, website all are real thing and a lion and uh, we are going with a fox fox also sometimes do harmful elephant like that wild boar like that animals we are going to identify whether it is a classification we are going to do and we are going to send the alert message this project will have the two part one is the jupyter notebook part with the help of the Jupyter notebook part, we can able to train the model. We can able to train the model. Uh, and after that, the trained model will be fixed, uh, it will be attached with the front end flask application. With the help of the flask application, what we can able to do means, uh, we can able to do the real time implementation. We can upload the image also, it will be identified. Or we can show that uh, animal images in your uh, camera or photo or printout screens also it will identify it will send an sms to the concerned person team it will send it like that we designed this project because we can't able to even the real animal will come in front of the camera also it will work for demonstration purpose we are showing that the printout images okay for a proof of concept we are using like that okay i'll explain this uh, in the jupyter notebook what we are going to do means we are going to take the five image uh, five categories bear elephant lion owl and a tiger okay and we are doing the pre-processing of that uh, category that animals we have to resize and normalization and we build the cnn model with the help of the cnn model we train the model and it is giving the accuracy is a very less accuracy only we are getting that 64 percent accuracy only we are getting and for that we are uh, building the classification report and the confusion matrix we are printing but uh, it is not a good model we saved that model also it is not a good model because of uh, 65 percent it is giving means not good so that what we are going to do means we are going to do the pre-processing on the uh, uh, animal images what are the images we are going to use for that we are applying some pre-processing technique we are applying uh, some filtering technique we are going to apply uh, you can see you no know, that like uh, filled and that is a gradient filter or gabber filter like that many filters are there we applied that uh, gradient filter uh, technique here and gabber filter technique here then what we are going to do means based on that the gabber filter uh, applied images we did the cnn model it is giving you 100 percent accuracy it is giving okay it is not overfitting even though because our quality of the images we improved so that we are plotting the accuracy graph and the loss graph uh, we are plotting and what we are doing that we in the confusion matrix also, not even a single mismatch is not happening 100% is coming correctly so that we saved this model so that up to this it is the Jupyter notebook part okay so that we have the two model one is with the CNN without pre-processing image another model is a uh, CNN algorithm with pre-processed images so that we can have the comparison also easily we can able to satisfy your college and uh, guides also we have the two algorithm one is giving 65% one is giving above 99% accuracy it is giving like that now we want to run the flash code so that this is a flash code for the project we can able to register by yourself 
we can able to once it's uh, uh, launched in amazon web service and other thing it will be available throughout the world it will be available okay now you can able to register yourself i am going to register one thing uh, ram kumar and email id is uh, ram dot kumar at gmail dot com and mail and city is uh, bangalore it is uh, india password i registered okay it is a uh, registration successful it is coming then i am entering with the uh, ram dot kumar mail id and password i entered here you have the home option camera graph and uh, change password will be there camera option you on means automatically in your laptop camera is there means uh, it will be keep observing the animal movement and it will be capture the thing it will send the alert message for your uh, project demo purpose we can use that part also now for example i am going to upload the image only i am going to upload the images you can see you know uh, maybe i am uploading the tiger image and i am giving the predict option now you can uh, look at the things we have selected the image tiger and it is predicting as a tiger with the confident level 99% that is accuracy also in the 99% is predicting correctly i can try with an another image maybe i uploaded this lion this lion and it is also predicted 99.92% accuracy is giving and when you are going with an camera option you can able to click the camera open means they automatically it will be predict okay or else uh, once it is captured the any movement means we can press the predict button for demo purpose we are doing that it will predict correctly and send an sms also to your guide here the graph we are doing that uh, uh, with the one with the cnn uh, cnn and uh, cnn what we did the things the with the accuracy we did with all the animals there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight categories we did it we got almost 99% uh, accuracy we got it that also available here with the help of the change password you can able to change the password and you can able to do the logout also so that here the important thing is uh, we can able to home button we can upload with a proof of concept we can do with the camera once the camera is on it will be keep monitoring and send the messages to the alert messages to the concerned person through sms or mail also we can able to send and a graph for the comparison where we got this accuracy graph means from the back end uh, Jupyter notebook we did it hmm? okay change password is there and logout is there again I will come back to the title the title is a uh, monitoring the movement of the wild animal and alert system using a deep learning algorithm deep learning algorithm what we used in this project is a CNN convolution and neural network we did it so that convolution neural network with the pre-processing technique without pre-processing technique two algorithms are there so that easily you can able to present to your college we can able to afford this project with very less cost and quality training will be given to you for more detail contact our uh, number 9845166723 or else 9886 hmm? okay thank you thank you for listening this video